This is as close to a LeBron James biopic as we're ever probably gonna get. <laughs> Everybody. Today we're going to be talking about Sp Space Jam 2, A New Legacy. The film stars WB, who is trying to promote their new streaming service, HBO Max. They decide to just throw in LeBron James and this unconvincingly heavy plot about LeBron James trying to help his uh, son get into basketball, pushing him to the limits so that he can be him when he grows up. But his son has other passions such as creating video games and one day when they have a fallout Both of them get trapped into the server verse Ron James has to go ahead and play basketball with the Looney Tunes so that he can get his son back Now this was a movie that I was kind of semi looking forward to because uh, I never saw the original uh, Space Jam until yesterday uh, I Thought it was alright. I'm more of a Looney Tunes back in action kind of guy. I think that's my jam a little bit. No pun intended. But I was l semi looking forward to this film because uh, I'm not a huge basketball fan. Uh, I did like LeBron James for what he did in Trainwreck and the comedic moments in that film. So I was hoping that he would bring a little bit more of a sensibility and hopefully he would be able to carry this film and give us a little bit something that we didn't get in the original Space Jam with Michael Jordan and you know the Looney Tunes were fine and all, in all honesty this was a movie that I thought sounded better sounded better but semi looked all right I like the way the Looney Tunes looked everything else looked the film the thing that holds this film back a lot is the plot that they got going 95% of the time it feels like it's WB jizzing all their product placement right in your face and that really doesn't work all well as probably they thought that, that it would this movie is a family friendly film so probably a lot of families will have a, a huge kick into this I know my mom would get a huge kick out of this film but <clears throat> I think this movie is served better as a drinking game because the amount of times that they throw around WB uh, LeBron James or basketball or serververse or product placements it really is a fun time if you're taking shots all the time uh, I wish that's what I was doing at the movies but unfortunately I'm not going to be able to have that luxury for a little while so hopefully by the time that I am able to have that luxury I'm able to enjoy this film with shots and a lot of tequila because this movie is definitely not good it's it's bad, but it's not Tom and Jerry bad, so I'll give it that. There are some funny moments that I, I generally did laugh at a lot, but overall I thought this movie was trying to head into an alright direction. This movie is a little bit too long because it has a lot of exposition in the film about what's going on and what LeBron James has to do in order for him to to get his son back. I don't think that the kid that played his son and LeBron James, James had the best chemistry in the world but they, I thought they did alright for what the film recalled and oh my god I really did enjoy LeBron James in Trainwreck. I thought he was the funniest part of that film uh, aside from uh, Bill Hader but uh, yeah this movie did not do him any favors because uh, I really did not like him in this film. I thought the first five minutes of screen time that we get with him in the film was him just being a dick to his son and it made me want to hate LeBron James uh, hopefully he's not that kind of parent in real life didn't his performance in the film really didn't do it for me and there's a lot of moments in the film that are like that I think the Looney Tunes are great there are some jokes in the film that work and others and others that don't but this movie was I wasn't expecting a lot from this film, so I can't say that I was disappointed by, the, by this film. But I was really hoping that I would get a fun time. And I would get a lot of good jokes in the film because that's what, because that's what we all go to into a family film. But this movie just really didn't... This movie just gave, left me a sour taste in my mouth. And it's just not good. It's, it's bad. 
but it's not Tom and Jerry bad, so I guess you can you can just leave it at that. But other than that, yeah, there's not a whole lot of redeeming stuff in this film. There are some jokes in the film. I like the Looney Tunes. I wish we had gotten a Looney Tunes movie instead of a, another Space Jam movie because I think that was the best part of the film. And if the Looney Tunes weren't in the film, this movie would just been awful. A lot of people will say that it's awful, but this movie is awful. Like, if your kids are behaving badly, this is a movie that you want to probably show them. So they can probably just calm the fuck down a little bit. But yeah, this movie isn't good. Uh, I was hoping we could get a little bit more. But hopefully uh, they don't do another one because this movie was bad. It was really bad. Go ahead and let me know what you think of the film. And if you like this review, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. Let me know what other movies you want to want me to review. Hopefully I'll be able to get some more reviews up this weekend. So until next time, this is Josie Reviews.